Let's see. Does it like me? I don't know if it does. My computer is very warm, but maybe that doesn't matter. Hello! It does? Yay. Gotta love restarting the laptop. Ugh. Anyway, hello everyone. Uh, I'm back. I'm gonna work on some cosplay stuff. It's very exciting. But, um, anyway, yes, so MCM London. My, uh, la my, uh, checked bag. Yeah, I know. Uh, preemptive reboot's probably a good idea. But my checked bag, uh, did not come back with me. I did just get a phone call earlier that it is on the way from Dusseldorf Airport to me. So hopefully that means that I will have it back soon. Because my entire Allura costume is in there. The entire thing. <laughs> yeah, which, uh, my my cosplay went semi-viral over the weekend. I, I posted it on Twitter, and Matt was the third person to like it, and so it went wild with likes and everything, and then a day later he commented on it, and it exploded again, and it very nearly broke my average monthly impressions uh, on Twitter. Which is an interesting thing. Uh, that's a new experience for me. Uh, but yeah, so that was really cool. I'm glad people liked it, but I don't have it here. Because it's in my... I really hope it's okay. It wasn't raining or anything, so like it wouldn't have been left out and gotten ruined or anything like that. Um, but we'll see. Also, all of my new dice are in there and a bunch of things that I wanted to show y'all and I can't because the suitcase isn't here. Yes. Thank you. I worked hard on my costume and I'm very happy with it. But we're working on a new costume today. I hit everything. Um, I am working on my fashion zine, uh, Tabard. No sleeve holes for me. For this one i'm excited you can't really tell in the artwork here because like i said before i left and came back my printer is terrible but uh the tabard is literally just these parts so no sleeves or anything like that uh what i'm going to do is i'm going to have very full like um it's my uh my howl shirt with the poofy white sleeves so i'm going to have that I have uh, one of the front tabard pieces is short and is going to be using this and then uh, for a little bit more length and then the other tabard piece is going to be the full length. So it's kind of like this this mismatch, mishmash, mi mismatch? What word am I trying to say? I don't even know anymore. Uh, but I already have some things uh, cut out and sewn. So this... I am literally using scraps. Uh, I got all of these scrap bits of fabric from Damsel in this dress. They do amazing corsets, uh, but they always are left with like bits and pieces and stuff that they can't use in their corsets. And so I got this pack of blues like a long time ago, like over a decade ago. Never used them for anything. So I'm making a patchwork tabard out of them. And I'm very excited about it. This part I already did and like I did my top stitching and it's all very, very pretty. Um, and then I have, uh, um, hello, how are you doing? I'm, I'm working on a fun costume that I'm excited about. Um, but I have some trims. This is from, this is what's left over from my Vexalia jacket. So I'm going to use this for something because it fits the aesthetic perfectly. And then uh, this one's interesting. So I'm going to lay these side by side to show you. Um, I realized that two of the things that I got from Damsel in this dress had a very similar pattern-ish. Let's see. So... You can kind of see here how they have this very similar kind of 
matching thing uh, going on with the florals. And so while they're very different florals, I wanted these to be the front panels, the, the top parts. But this has very, very little to it. So let's see. Um, uh, Deep Squirrel booked flights for Colorado yesterday. Ooh, you're going to Colorado? What are you doing? And yeah, uh, fried pickles, you should absolutely uh, do cosplay. It does not matter if you do off the rack, as you say, uh, or if you make them yourself. I actually do a combination of both. So just because I'm making costumes on stream, like, doesn't mean that that's all that I do. Like, I have um, ones from Doki Doki. I have ones from Mike Costumes. I do a full spectrum. I do a ton of closet cosplays as well. Uh, but yeah. We're going to Anuya. I'm assuming that's how you say it. Open air at Red Rocks. Bunch of people who all know each other from Twitch and Discord all meeting up. Oh, we'll have fun. That's exciting. Anoya. Anoina. Andrina. I do not know. I lived in Arizona for a really long time. Um, I don't know. Uh, but I don't speak Spanish. And so my brain was like, oh, that needs to be Spanish sounding. Anjuna. Anjuna. Okay. So because to me, because that's like, oh, in the Southwest the J should be a Y sound in my brain. <laughs> anyway. Yes, so these are the front two panels. And you can see how one, maybe, you can see how one is shorter than the other for this tabard. I feel that I'm in Texas, yes, valid. Yeah, I speak French and German and a little bit of Japanese now. I, I do not... I do not speak Spanish. I grew up in West Virginia and Spanish was not one of those things that you learned. Um, well, some people, but it, it wasn't common there. Um, so these are kind of like end cap pieces for the, for the tops of the sleeves. No sleeves, ha! Uh, the shoulders. So this is one of them and I used this matching, this fabric here. And then I'm going to do uh, the same for the other side. I accidentally, what I wanted to do was I wanted to have this fabric on the opposite shoulder and, you know, cross them. I accidentally cut the wrong side. So I'll just make do, it's fine. But anyway. And then this is a collar bit. And so it's gonna be this pretty, pretty blue on one side and it's gonna be the white on the other. <laughs> okay, how do I enable that? Tell me. I will happily enable you to uh, create commands. It can be a future thing. I'm going to get some water. I'm thirsty. I do have my, my cute little emote for that. Hydrate! Mm. Okay. But yeah, so you can see on this one, there's a tick box for Moobot. Okay. I can work on that when I take a break. Uh, but you can see here the, the zigzagginess. This was part of just the, um, the fabric itself that I was uh, uh, sent. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create some kind of angle bit. Uh, this is actually from my wedding dress. Uh, the previous owner switched out the, uh, the ribbon, the satin ribbon. For one that I also liked and uh, gave me this when I bought her dress. So, fun fact. Let's see. Um, 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 um. Thank you, Stream Elements. You're so useful. 
Let's see, uh, British record label, started by producers, Jonathan Jonah, no, 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 no. Oh, interesting. I did not know that. Is the stream dying though? I'm not seeing any problems. I think that stream elements is just being crappy. Because I don't see any issues on my end. Okay. Yeah, I just saw stream elements being like, hey, what you doing? Anyway, let's go over to Moobot. Yes, I know that I need to log in. I logged out of everything when I restarted my computer. Thank you. Go away. Let's see. I don't think I did the right thing. I just saw permit a username and I was cool. Let's do that. That's wrong. Hello, Tim. Okay, where is the thing? <laughs> Thanks, Moobot. <laughs> that is not at all what I was trying to do. Um... <laughs> I am highly amused. This is me being like, I don't know anything about technology. Uh, can be used by Twitch chat moderators for chat ad command. Built in commands. Is there an ad command? Ad command. There we go. You can now, I clicked the thing to turn it on, add command from chat. You can now do that. So, hypothetically. I'm looking, there's so many things. What is this? Okay, I think, I think we're good now. Oop, there are too many, there are too many pop-ups. There we go. But let me know if that worked. Yeah! Sleeves are bullshit! Anyway, yes. Uh, this is Chaos Stream. Enjoy the chaos. Chaos. But yes. So I have these two panels already finished. That's the thing. Anyway, um, so what I've done is I have actually shortened it because I didn't like the length. And so I need to do the back panels now. This is the front. Goes away. And these are for the back panels. And so I'm gonna have to do some more piecemealing and I need to experiment with what that's going to look like. Yes, Rocket. Deep sighs. She is angry that, once again, uh, the family is not all chilling together. <laughs> Hi, baby girl. Yes, I was gone for so long. Just ages and ages. <laughs> Let's see. So. How much do I need? Decent amount. About the length of my desk. Cool. So I'm not going to worry too much about holding onto the pattern right now on the desk. I'm going to have to do a little bit of wiggling to get space. Mom, you've been gone for 30 years, Raga, probably. I mean, yeah. Yeah, that sounds about right. Okay. Oh, gosh. Did I take pictures? I remember that I was like, oh yes, I figured out how the back is going to go. And then I am totally spacing on what I was doing for the back. I feel like I have other fabrics as well. I'm going to check my phone. So the, uh, the preview is going to go away for a little bit. Hang on. Let's see. Let's go back in time. 
What was I doing for the back of this? Before den hog. I take too many pictures. Holy moly. <laughs> there it is. So that was that one. I literally, that is super helpful. I literally just have these three fabrics stacked on top of each other. Cool. That's helpful. Thanks. Thanks, past Anya. Uh, okay. Back to having the second camera. There we go. So in that case, with that so, oh so helpful information, let's see how much fabric I have. I have a decent amount of this one. Let's see. And then this is blue silk that's left over from my howl jacket. And I realized how much I have of it. And I was like, perfect. This will do nicely. So I'm thinking I will do the top halves of the tabard back using this and this fabric. Maybe I should try to... I'm thinking because the back of the tabard, it's also two pieces and I'm, uh, yes, you can pick up your camera tomorrow. Yes, you can. No problem. I am very amused that your camera's name is Allura. And then also I was cosplaying Allura. <laughs> mm. I already got the things off of it. Let's see, guess who's gonna take the photos? Yeah, I figured. Okay, so let me think. Because if I wanna do something funky, I have this really nice design right here that would look really good in the middle. So if I did something fancy and lined it up right, I could do like the top half is this so it would go let's see the camera's name is allura because it creates magical moments yes see it confused me too james because uh he had said how how did allura treat you or something like that over the weekend i was like oh yeah people really enjoyed the costume he's like no that's not what i mean <laughs> it was amusing okay yeah so i'm thinking that i will get this a little bit see the tricky thing is that it's just barely got the funky shapes going on here so I have to keep that in mind um oh no no it didn't sound rude at all no worries okay so That would be hilarious if he was doing that. <laughs> yeah, so I'm gonna do my best to pattern match, but you know the curse of that. Um, but what I'm gonna do is I'm going to create, probably it'll end up being a curved shape here to account for those bits. So it'll be like that. And then I'm going to do um, this fabric for a little while going further down also with that curved shape and then I'll end with the silk that I will um, iron some interfacing onto the back of and also keep in mind I have to do lining for all of this I'll probably end up using the silk for lining just because um, it'll be a little bit more because it's more open it'll be more visible and so I won't be showing any ugly fabrics or anything on the underside. So that is the game plan. So with that in mind, I think I'm going to just fold this in half to cut out the first bit. Let's see. So there's the center point. Now 
I'm going to actually pin this so that the center point stays the center point because this has been folded in a particular direction for over a decade. Because I'm trying to do this, like I'm doing a, a patchwork thing, but I want it to look intentional. I don't want it to look haphazard because this is a fashion zine. <laughs> Keyword, fashion. I might pull some of the other... Uh, scraps in as well. I have all of these scraps here from cutting out the other pieces. So I might still be able to do something with them. Maybe like little accents or something. Ooh, that would be a cool idea. Uh, maybe to do an accent stripe between this fabric and this fabric. I'm getting ideas. Okay, let's move this one. And I will say, this fabric does not smell the best. But that's what Fabrice is for. And dry cleaning. Because most of these fabrics are not machine washable. Let's see... This is an interesting challenge. Maybe I should cut this. I mean, by cut this, I mean untape it. Because then it'll be easier than having all of this dangling. I think I'll do that. But I can always retape later. Bah, did I do too good of a job on my taping? I did. Come on. I did way too good a job on taping this together, apparently. I'm gonna bite it. Tape! First you tape. I'm gonna put this over here. Floor is my friend. Okay. See, this is much easier to maintain for this. To manage, whatever the word is. Yeah, so obviously I'm going to cut out a little bit because you can see right there that's obviously going to get chopped off, but that is not the end of the world. Where are my fabric weights? I'm going to use pins because I don't easily see my fabric weights. I tried to tidy up before my trip and of course tidying up before the trip means um, making things disappear and not knowing where they are. Doesn't everyone do that? Ah oh, yes, this looks like the right place to put the thing. I will definitely not forget this very important location. 
right. Sure. That makes sense. This is actually interesting right here because this is where that's going to happen. So I think I'm just going to demarcate that. Where's my pencil? Aha. Pencil. Is this the funny one? It is. Roll for initiative. There we go. I have marked out where things are going to happen. Just going to confirm. Yeah. And I am going to be cutting these as individual pieces because even though they're going to be sewn together. Ooh, that is thick. Um, the pattern does have a seam allowance in it. Let's see, um, I'm, let's see, da, 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 11 on the die, not sure why my, what my IRL dex modifier is. Okay. My mom just called and the doggo heard my voice over the phone and started howling like a wolf. Oh no! Poor puppy. That's adorable. You rolled for initiative? Oh, okay. I have the context now. This is probably the thickest fabric I've ever cut through. And it doesn't help that I'm cutting through two layers to do that. Yeah, like, I can see myself being able to use this for something. Let's see. <laughs> Ooh! There's a- if there's a bot for rolling on stream, I'm totally game. Do it. Let's see, I'm gonna do, I'm going to auction this weekend, probably on Saturday. I want to go buy some stuff in the Netherlands. Ooh, have fun! I was just there. Um, there is kind of funny. We have it on Lolly Flux's channel. Hey, tell me what to do and I will add it. I am always learning about new things. I need more pins. You roll a one, it times you out and even removes mod status in the process? Oh no. That's not dangerous at all. Let's see, um, na, na, na. I'm supposed to play D&D &D today, but I said la that last week, the week before, ad nauseum, and we've been playing for two years, and, uh, that is, that sounds painful, that sounds like a lot. Is it just continually getting cancelled? That's a shame. Definitely sounds like it if you're only just getting through the tutorial. I like that. Well. <laughs> there 
There we go. <laughs> you do know a reliable GM to talk to. <laughs> the GM had to do her thesis and a lot of grad school stuff and everyone else got sick and so forth. That's a shame. Like, life happens, but also there's nothing more disappointing than D&D suddenly getting cancelled. And while I try to reuse as much as possible, these little nubbins are not terribly useful, so they're going in the trash. Let's see. Yeah, pro GM. No worries. Fingers type fast a lot. Devin, Devin Rue drew magic cards. <laughs> Congratulations. Enjoy spending all of your money again. <laughs> I can't look at the photo on there. I'll look at it on my computer. Oh, except I don't have WhatsApp on my computer right now because I restarted it. I'll look later, Tim. If I look now, it turns off the thing, and it's annoying. Anyway. Yay, I have this part done. Let's take a look. Now, because I've done this section, this does mean that I need to um, add a little bit to um, take into account seams. So now I have these two pieces. And obviously the the lines aren't aren't perfect there, but it's gonna look very nice and even on the back. I really like that. I'm so glad I thought to do that. Okay. So that's that piece. And then I've marked here where it's going to go. So I need to add about, I would say an inch to be safe knowing me, um, to the next piece that goes in. Um, or I can just add in an inch of silk. Let's see. This is interesting because it's angled, but the grain can't be angled because then it'll stretch. Let's see what all I have in here. Okay, I do have some bits that are angled. I might be able to make work, make it work with that. Or I just use fresh because I do have not plenty, but enough. Yeah, that's a pretty sharp angle. Don't think that'll work, but... I still have some of the silver fabric. See, this is all a part of the process, is figuring out. Yeah, isn't it? Um, I'm figuring out what works kind of on the fly, but I kind of like that about it. So let's see, silver fabric is where? I think it's in the drawer over here. Hang on one second. Because when I left, I didn't have time to ugh, put everything away. So I kind of just shoved everything into the uh, the bin here. But yes, I do really like the fabrics. Like, I'm, I'm really pleased with past me for buying this. Um, it's It makes me happy. I may also actually use some of my Allura fabrics now that I'm looking at it. Because I have... I can't use the gold ones because that's not the vibe. However, that looks really nice with it. Like, 
Look at that. I think those look really good together. I think I'm gonna do this actually. Let's see. Oh yeah, and I have plenty of the silver. Look. Ah, fabrics. To be honest, the gold might create an interesting pop. I'm not sure because I really feel like, um, uh, so let me say this part first. So I really feel like this needs to be more on the blue and silver side rather than the blue and gold side. I might, and this does have some olive tones in it, this fabric. So I might just not care. We'll see. Um, and I only make my costumes for myself, mainly because I am terrible at measuring things. So, um, for example, with, uh, my Lady Vexalia jacket, I had to, uh, take it in quite a bit. And I also had to move the waistline up five inches because I didn't like how it looked with the pre-made, uh, the pattern itself. And then with my, uh, Lady Allura, uh, dress, I also had to take it in about five inches. Yeah, five inches um, of waistline because the problem was that the way the jacket was designed, the waistline was at the butt and I want it to be at the natural waistline. Let's see. Uh, it's fair. Just the fact that you could do all of the sewing period is impressive. I've been trying to learn for eons, but my last sewing machine broke on me. Oh no. Yeah. My sewing machine broke as well. I had to get it in to repair and it was like a hundred some odd euros to fix it which was not fun. But I think I'm gonna do stripes with this. But yeah, I'm terrible at uh, measuring properly for myself. And so I always worry that if I took a commission uh, from someone else, I would just mess it up royally. Um. So pre-made costumes, it really depends on uh, what you're cosplaying from. So like if you are doing a lot of anime and stuff, uh, especially the popular ones, uh, my costume, Mike costumes is a good one. Um, also there's Doki Doki. Um, they sell on AliExpress and stuff and they have very high quality stuff. Like, uh, hang on, I'll grab one. So this is from Doki Doki Cosplay. No, don't worry about it. Um, and this is very, very high quality, very nice. It's uh, Tomio from Card Capture Sakura. Uh, and I absolutely adore it. Uh, it's a really nice costume. I don't know if I'll ever wear it to a convention, but I really like it. It's really nice. Honestly, I should probably sell it at some point, but it was like a hundred some odd, uh, but definitely worth it. And then, let's see. So it's kind of piecemeal, but this is the Siri uh, costume from uh, Mike Costumes. And it's okay quality. It's not as good as, uh, yeah, I love Card Captor Sakura. Um, it's definitely not as high quality as my Card Captor Sakura dresses. Um, and like you see the the raw stuff it's not fully lined or anything like that and um, but it's still decent quality uh, for what it is I'm gonna be modifying this and Tim got me a sword Tim specifically got me series sword so I'm going to be doing this Hold on one second. Let's see. I mean, hey, if if you want the the dress fried pickles, uh, I can send you measurements and stuff and check out how much it costs. I only wore it once, so uh, the olive color is easier for me to see now that it's on the table. Yeah, it is very lovely. Sorry, I'm just looking through everything now. Um, if you want to play a wood elf, that's actually really easy because you're just looking for general like Ren Fair vibe stuff. And I think that Mike Costumes does have some decent options. Uh, you can also just look on um, 
I know that in Germany, uh, eBay Classifieds is really good for finding uh, used or pre, like, uh, people selling their costumes. That's always a really good source. Um, uh, and then for ears, I got my ears. Let's see. Are any nearby? Hang on. So these are two different kinds of ears. These are silicon and these are latex. And I got these from Madhouse FX on uh, Etsy. They're really, really great. Um, I prefer the silicon just because they're so much more solid. And uh, these ones are a little bit see-through. Uh, so when the sun's shining, it shines through and you can see your actual ear behind it. But they're both really, really good options. I do not mind derailment. It's fine. Uh, let's see. Yeah, but I go back to the States fairly often. So uh, we can always coordinate for that if you wanted to. I uh, got her the sword for Christmas and birthday, and then she got a sword before that. I was like, oh no, what if she doesn't need another one? I always need another one. Uh, yes. Swords. I also need a... I want to display them right here. I need a display for my swords. Yeah, yeah, I live in Germany. Uh, I'm American, but I, I live here in Germany. Yes, this is true. You can be delivery boy in November. There are options. But yes. Derailment! Talking about fun things. I'm always happy to be derailed. I am easily distracted. <laughs> okay, so now I have to go through these and find which pieces might work for this. So I want to create stripes on here. I think this one will work well. And these are all just all of the scraps from my Allura uh, dress. So I save everything because you never know when something will be useful. Now like this one is very long, might be useful, but it's going the wrong direction in terms of length. So we shall see. My coworker is going to Florida in five weeks. Nice. Yeah, and some of these scraps might not be terribly useful, but I hang on to them just in case. Because you never know. This was from one of the sleeves, the, the full flowing sleeve parts. Using scraps is one of my favorite things to do. You never know if something will work for another project down the line. Exactly. Like, why, why just throw things away? Especially silk. <laughs> yes, sleeves are bullshit. Um, but yeah, I try to use scraps as much as I can. That's why I really love that... Um, Damsel in this dress sells packs of their scrap fabric. It's like, yes, please. Save this from just being thrown away. I mean, not all of these are terribly useful, but who cares? And see, that's long in the wrong direction. But very, very pretty. I'm like that with electronics and guitar parts. Hoard it! It might be useful, yes. The box of wires. <laughs> yeah, a lot of these are lengthwise scraps, which makes sense because I was going for long pieces um, in that vertical view. So these pieces might be my best bet. Uh, it's all in my closet. Who knows what's in there? Yep. Facts. That's all vertical. I'm just slowly packing them away. You know what? 
I might do them. Maybe I should do them horizontally instead of vertically. Nah. I could. I will if I have to. Let's put it that way. I'll put that there. I will do it horizontally along the grain if I have to. And I think I might. Not the end of the world. Yeah. That's okay. So in that case, these two go away. I'll put them back in the box. Okay. More water. So since we're doing horizontal now, ooh, that'll actually work really nicely on here. Oh, and maybe I could do a thing where it starts out as, like it creates kind of a wedge shape. Can you see that? There we go. Kind of like the wedge shape there. Let's see. Um, Oh, love my mug. Yes. And I have an emote for it for subscribers. Or you can unlock it. But I have a little Imogen drinking emote. Yeah, I'm thinking I might do like a wedge here. So it'll be like that. I think that'll be really pretty. I just need to make sure that I have that overlap so that I don't have raw edges. I'm just gonna pin this in place and then cut it. I know it's mostly tea, but it's fun to pretend you're always swigging beer or meat. It's water. It's not even tea, it's just water. I mean, sometimes I do have beer in there, but I don't tell you when I do that. <laughs> it is currently just water, though. Okay. Hmm. I wonder if I should sew it first before cutting it, just because... That's going to shift things a little bit. Nah, yeah, I don't think it'll shift it enough to matter. Okay. <laughs> Haven't had a beer in ages, yeah. Yeah, this side I should, yeah. I should sew it together to do this because I am basically creating a new fabric if you think about it because I'm putting them all together. Kind of, sort of. Mm. I had a couple so on Sunday for the first time in ages in the sun. Ooh, sounds lovely. Yeah, because I'll do this, and then when I fold it over, it will be a straight line. Let's see, and was then fed barbecue by an Australian. Oh, yeah. Very good Sunday. I am going to pin on this side, because then... I'll be able to keep track of what's going on 
on the underside. Smuggle me a double decker. Good luck. <laughs> Good luck with that. Um, I'll ask around and get orders for snacks before I pack. Yeah, Paul is always, like, get my best friend for those who are watching and don't know. Um, he's from the UK and he's always, like, getting me more chocolates and things that I like. Okay. I haven't heard of that one, interestingly enough. Um, maybe because I just like twirls uh, and buttons. I brought a bunch of buttons back. I'm super stoked. Okay. Well, with this, I'm going to need to pull out the sewing machine. So let me do that. Yeah, and there are orange buttons. I grabbed a bunch of orange buttons. It was so funny. I was uh, at the airport um, in, I was at London City Airport waiting to get back. I realized I had a 20 pound note in my wallet. And so I went and I got two things of orange buttons and two books because buy one get one half off <laughs> and it was like 1898 so i have one pound and two p awesome very helpful yeah that's a view Let's protect the fabric from that Velcro. I don't know why I did this, honestly. I think it was just to be silly. Next time you're here, that one pound two will buy you two individual buttons and nothing else. Yep, very possibly. I would not be surprised. More fabric scraps. Yeah. You are enjoying my random noises. So many wires. Okay. Yep. Nope, nope, nope. Don't destroy the pattern. Big size rocket. Have to do some rearranging, don't mind me. Predicting oh, hang on, practicing your VO skills for when you get cast in a video game. <laughs> yes. That is exactly what I'm doing. Let's get a different color red. Rather than bright yellow. Don't worry, I'll move the camera in a hot second. Not a cold one, a hot one. I'm an idiot, don't mind me. I need to do voice training, that voice won't be... Uh, this voice won't be found by not trying. You can do it! I know that there are, that sounded really silly, um, I know that there are, uh, vocal trainers specifically for, uh, trans people who are trying to train their voices and I know that it does take quite a bit to get used to uh, just from uh, friends who have done it before <laughs> I 
Okay. Sorry, my my brain just disappeared on me. And I don't know what I was thinking. Anyway, um, words and stuff. Words and stuff. That's what I was saying. You should never fear making dumb jokes anywhere that I'm allowed to be a mod. I'm 40% dumb jokes. <laughs> yep. Facts. Dumb jokes are best jokes, honestly. I adore puns. Yay! I always worry when it's a new bobbin and thread because this is just like a set that I got and they're always so difficult when they're brand new to get the threads out. Okay, let's see. That's a better view. It's a little bit hard because I can't do too much without blocking myself from being able to So There we go. There we go. I've got that bit. I am going to top stitch it and then I'm going to cut it. So like it looks like that right now. So I'm going to fold out the pieces and then I'm going to stitch over them. Just saying it for anyone in the chat who doesn't know the terms. And if I ever say anything that you don't know the word uh, whatever, uh, I'm always happy to explain things. I am by no means a trained seamstress. I literally have learned things as I go. And I know that I'm always making mistakes and stuff and then I learn from them and I adapt. So what I'm doing right now is that I'm uh, pinning it folded out because this is, for me, the easiest way to do it. Don't know if it's the right way, but it's what I do. And then I'm going to stitch over top of them, being very careful of the needles because that's how I killed my sewing machine last time. Okay. 
different. So what I'm doing for the top stitching, and I'll just show this to you. I don't think I can actually zoom in. No, I can't. But what I'm doing is the line here is just on the inside here. Uh, that's what I prefer to do for my top stitches, just uh, how close it is. Uh, you can go a little bit further out, but then you might not catch the fabric. Um, but I do that, and then when uh, the reason why I'm doing this is it creates this really nice crisp line, and so it just folds out uh, really nicely and it lays nicely that way. So that's what I'm doing here. And the reason why I'm going to be careful while I'm going over the needles is because this isn't an industrial uh, sewing machine, it is not meant to go over needles. And so what will happen is the tip of this sometimes just lands perfectly on that needle and it bends the needle. It might even break things. And when I ruined my sewing machine and had to send it in, it was because the needle hit the pin and it wedged so deeply into the machine that it broke some things. So that's the dealio there. Anyway, now I'm going to sew. Nope, get back here. I'm also holding onto my thread so that it doesn't do an escape act and pop up. And I'll often just crank the um, needle over the uh, pins. Because that's the safest thing to do. Hello, pug. Hi, are you a pug? I was not aware of this. Truly, a mystery for the ages solved. Hello, Miss Mops. Hi. Oh, for those who don't speak German, Mops means pug in German. Back to sewing. I'm going to. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> I'm going to attack the microphone. Need this back on my wrist. Urgent emails wait for no seamstress. But life is good. We're fine. Taking care of business every day. There we go. See, now that's nice and crisp. And now I can go and cut off the excess based on the pattern. I think that looks really cool.
Where did the scissors end up? <laughs> there they are. This is the problem with not enough desk space. It's very hard to do all of the things. so cool look that looks so nice I'm really happy with how that turned out and I get to do more of it Yay! thank you both okay so I have that piece done and this is really interesting because it's just like going down the jacket basically just doing a little bit at a time I really like how that accent pops. Talk to the opportunity to add potato to the chat. Yes, you did. Oh, you know what? I say it in potato language too. So it's not just you. Because I don't like saying it in English because in English, it's a fucking religious thing. And I call bullshit on that. Much like sleeves are bullshit. Trying to think of the best piece to do this with. I think it's gonna be this. And I kinda like the idea of it not being mismatched. Not being mis being mismatched. I can words and stuff. Yeah, I've just always said Gesundheit. No rhyme or reason to it, just, well, besides that. That's a lovely view over there. Yeah, because the idea is that, uh, like the original idea behind Bless You is that your um, soul is leaving your body through your nose and you, so you need to be blessed so that your soul doesn't escape. Which is just silly to me. Anyway. I'll... Oh, pretzels are a religious thing? Please tell me why. Is it similar to bagels? Because being carried on a stick and whatnot. I'll explain further than that. But yeah, bagels were uh, carried around on a stick. And so they have a hole in them. Go around God, stay out of our snacks. No, legitimately, there's a reason why Germans can't make bagels. And it's because bagels were made by Jews. And, <laughs> hey, history. No, um, so bagels, originally, um, uh, Jewish bakers were not allowed to bake bread because it was the, um, wine is the blood of Christ, so bread is the body. Is that right? Anyway, basically, like, you can't eat Christ's body if you're Jewish because you killed Christ. So. <laughs> um, Jewish bakers weren't allowed to bake bread. Eventually, they were allowed to boil bread, uh, and that's why uh, bagels are boiled. Germans, no offense, Tim, uh, do not bit. They do not boil their bagels, and so they are bread. They are not real bagels. Uh, pretzels resemble a praying child folding the hands over their chest and the arms form a pretzel. That is fascinating i had no idea that it was a religious thing but yeah like um in uh 
New York, the original, um, like there was actually a, a bagel union or something like that. And so all of the meetings were conducted in Yiddish because only Jews made bagels in New York. And that is fascinating. Just interesting and also why, but also like, I do like pretzels. I prefer pretzel bites though, like the little ones, because a full pretzel is just too much for me. Oop, sorry. To be honest, technically I'm not German. Okay. <laughs> technically. And I think that I'm just going to have this be a longer piece to continue with that mismatch vibes. Auntie Anne's cinnamon or vanilla sugar cookie, uh, sugar cookie, sugar pretzel bites. Damn good. So good. Technically, I'm only half English, so I'm only half terrible. Uh, I'm half German, technically, and half Ukrainian, so... Yeah, so I'm thinking um, that I'm going to, there's this really cute bakery that has uh, orange accent like couches and stuff near where I live. And I'm thinking of doing the shoot there if they'll let me because I feel like the blue on orange vibes will look really cool. I love blue and orange together and uh, purple and yellow. I just... I like those uh, opposites. They, they're they fun. Half Welsh, half English, though that's literally just going off where my parents were born. Fair. If we're going off where parents are born, uh, my dad is from Pittsburgh and my mom is from... I think she was born in Illinois or Indiana, one of those. She grew up in Canada, though. Yes, hello, Rocket. You are indeed a pug. Did you know that you are a pug? I know that you're a pug. It's very important stuff. Let's see. I'm only one-sixth-ish German because my grandpa is half Estonian, half German. My grandma is half Polish, half Slovakian. And on my father's side, my grandma is also Polish, and my grandpa is half Russian, half Danish. Fascinating. That is really cool. I think that I might actually have Scottish ancestry, but, like, I don't know where.
Ooh, and completely unrelated to converse, this conversation, um, I'm going to see the new Little Mermaid movie on Saturday. Woohoo! I am super stoked. I have heard amazing things about it. Hello, cookies! How are you? Did you see about my Allura tweet? Did you see what happened? Cookies! I want a cookie now. It's so crazy! I can't believe that Matt commented on it! <laughs> I was, I was at MCM London going, oh my god. <laughs> what? <laughs> and of course, then there was Mark being a little shit, being like, yeah, of course I knew that he was going to comment on it. I knew he was going to like it. Allure's his favorite character. I'm like, and? <laughs> Mark was being very rude all weekend. <laughs> no, not actually. Like, being wonderful. <laughs> right? Well, also, like, he and Matt are friends going way back. So, like, there's that, too. Oh, yeah? Uh, for, for Dokumi? Well, I hope you have time for me and Eve. I want to get our Imodna pictures with you. Have to get that out of the way. There we go. Let's see. If he was rude to you, I would not provide my camera anymore. So tell him if Mark ever wants photos from you again that you should be treated nicely and he should provide food. <laughs> Just want to get you a good deal. Yeah, uh, Mark's a sweetheart and did actually uh, buy me food because I did do a photo shoot of um, Bowsette. So those photos will be coming uh, before before the costume died. <laughs> Um, but it'll, it looked really cool and I'm excited for our photos. They're going to be awesome. Yeah, I hope that you can meet him sometime too. I will absolutely introduce you. Yeah, uh, he introduced me to Kit Bus uh, because she was at the uh, Artist Alley, and they're really good friends. Oh yeah, super duper fun. Just one of like the sweetest human beings too, just in general. Uh, so glad we ran into him on the way home after TwitchCon. Uh, super kind human being. Yes, yes. Facts. 
I did uh, see some of the bows that. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, some of those were taken by me, uh, just on his phone. But I also took some proper photos too. There we go. Nice. Let's see how these look together. Hang on, I have to do some rearranging again. Yeah. All the fabrics. Oh no. There we go. Almost got my sewing machine pot. Let's see. Moment of truth. How do these look together so far? Yeah. So it's going to be not visible to you at all. <laughs> uh, so it's going to be like this. And then you see that the one piece is longer than the other. And so then I'm going to kind of uh, go down from there. So then I think I'm going to do some of... Oh, it disconnected. Rude. There we go. Things and stuff. So I've got that going on. And then I think that this fabric's going to be next. This one. Yeah. So I'm gonna do that. And I'll do like an angled section and another angled section here. And then I'll do some of this fabric and then maybe some of the others. But I think I'm gonna stop there for tonight uh, because I have other things that I need to get done. Uh, but let's see who's on that we can do a, a mini raid to. A little raid. And I will see you all later. Have a good one. Ooh, thanks for watching, screen. There we go.